All right, a unique galaxy is making the case for the existence of dark matter, even though it barely has any. Now, astrophysicists don't know what dark matter is made of, but they do know there's a lot of it in the universe. And the consensus is that dark matter outnumbers ordinary matter in a galaxy by more than five to one. But in a new report in the scientific journal Nature, some astrophysicists say they have found a galaxy that has 400 times less dark matter than expected. And joining us now to explain uh, what this all means is Derek Pitts. You see him there. He is the chief astronomer and planetarium director at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for joining us and good to see you. Sure. Thanks for having me tonight. All right. First, can you explain to us, our viewers, especially myself, what dark matter is and why is it important to the formation of a galaxy? Well, as it turns out, astronomers have observed that the rotational speed and motion of galaxies is actually far greater than should be possible, as indicated by the visible matter in those objects. And that observation led astronomers to suggest the presence of some unseen matter, what's now called dark matter, to account for the observed speed of rotation. Now, because the estimated number of galaxies in the of, of the uh, the estimated number of galaxies in the universe, Astronomers have calculated, as you said, that the universe consists really of 26% dark matter, 70% what's called dark energy, and only 5% is the real stuff that makes up you and me and all the planets and stars and galaxies. The dark mass is important because it's thought that dark mass is the material that actually gets galaxies started in their formation. So tell me this, how could the discovery of a galaxy that's lacking dark matter help prove that dark matter actually exists? Well, it's kind of a funny thing, it's, and it goes like this. Alternative theories about dark matter try to explain those effects by suggesting that dark matter is just an illusion that's caused by our lack of knowledge about how gravity works on very large scales. Now, if that's the case, it goes like this. Since all galaxies deal with gravity on very large scales, then all galaxies ought to show a dark matter signature. Here's a galaxy that does not show a dark matter signature, and because of that, that suggests that the non-dark matter models are incorrect, thus, sort of like coming at it backwards, proving that dark matter actually does exist. All right, so what are your biggest questions following the discovery of this new uh, galaxy here? My biggest question actually is, are there other non-dark matter galaxies to be found? Are there other galaxies that indicate there's no presence of dark matter in them? If so, it's going to change our ideas a lot about how galaxies form, and it's also going to help to prove even further the existence of dark matter, even though dark matter isn't found in that particular group of galaxies. All right, I think I could listen to you talk all day long. Derek Pitts, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me tonight. All right.